Hey, Susan in San Marcos, you're on the air. Congratulations, first live caller. Very nice. Hey, Susan. Mm -hmm. Hey, boys. I just want to know what exactly is it that you celebrate on Christmas if you're an atheist and you don't believe in God? Sure. Do you want to go first? Because I have a huge one. All right. If, if he has a huge one, then I'll go first. Yeah. Um, so for the most part, the ritual, the celebrations is the same. Um, this will probably be the first Christmas where most of my other family has a real idea of my non-belief as opposed to just having a vague idea that I'm not really religious. Um, but if you mean do we uh, exchange presents and put up a tree and all of that, yes. But if you're asking like what is the celebration for when I think of it, for the most part I celebrate yeah. Christmas with my family and I'm happy to celebrate the generosity that I've received from them throughout my life. They're not perfect by any measure, but they're good and they're my family. That's... Does your family celebrate it in a religious way? Uh, my, well, my mom likes for the family to go to church. Yeah, and for my family, it's, it's, it's not particularly religious. I mean, it holds on to uh, the idea Baby of family. Jesus. And when it comes to Christmas in general, Love, I love, love Christmas. People have this idea that that's that, right. You that, got into that "Who loves Christmas more" thing dude, with, with Beth. With Beth, it's uh, amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I absolutely love Christmas. I always I love feel weird when I don't. The decorations. Yeah. I love decorating the house. I love the smells of Christmas and mold wine. I yeah. love Santa, and I love um, just the joy that it brings and people. Gingerbread and smiles yeah. and happiness. And none and of rainbows. that is in the Bible. None of well, that okay. is, is I feel like dictated we're steamrolling. out that we have to talk about that. I feel like we're steamrolling Susan here a little bit. Sorry, Susan, we got into our camaraderie. Um, d uh, does that is that beginning to answer your question somewhat? It is a little bit. You're not steamrolling. I was just right. curious as to what that meant to you if you didn't have okay. the joy of understanding the other side, the other piece of it. And if okay. there was a discomfort for you when you were with people who did. I mean, not related to Christmas. I've, I've definitely experienced a discomfort, um, particularly seeing people that are close to me uh, in, in uh, not, not because they're praying or because they believe, but um, right, like uh, recently there was a, a friend of mine that I'm very close with that was uh, explaining to the group of us that um, uh, the motivations of uh, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. were not about race at all or racial injustice and that it was like just his Christianity and I was trying to parse out what the point they were making was because like yes the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was a preacher mm -hmm. that influenced not just his speaking style and ability to speak but his motivation for all of this and I, you know, I've seen the mountaintop and all of that, and it's like, yeah, but he was fighting racial injustice. And for some reason, they had an aversion to saying that. Um, well, and I think that that's... I, I, I think that tags on yeah, uh, a Christian most, trend to co-opt well, well, things. Yeah, but mostly it was concerning to me because there's times when you can have a conversation with someone. Um, I'm not sure if anything like this has happened with you, Susan, but you can have a... Um, like, okay, so if you're having a conversation with a child and you're asking them and you start asking them questions about things you know they don't know, and then they just start sort of making up answers like, well, that's because, you know, gingerbread men clean it up or whatever, right? Like, you can know in a conversation that the way they're coming up with an answer is, like, dishonest or unreliable, right? But seeing... Right. Um, not exactly that, but seeing a person that you know and have known your entire life and that you love dearly um, stick to a conclusion that doesn't seem to make sense on its face, defend it vehemently, and then defend it with a, but if you disagree with me, you've offended my religion. Um, and then it, it can be very disheartening. And uh, oftentimes in that situation, I freeze up. Um, yeah, absolutely. And, and mm -hmm. when, when it gets brought up that way, that can be a source of a lot of discomfort to non-believers and families. So for any Christians listening, you know, it's, um, if you want to talk about family, you know, you're definitely going to hit all of the same chords 
with atheists. Um, it's not just about the religious aspect, but when it comes to holidays like Thanksgiving, Christmas, Easter, the big ones, they're not Hanukkah. just Hanukkah, Chanukah. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, Don't um, forget the Jews. I won't. It's also about sharing, and, and, and where I'm going with it is that mm. it's part of our cultural heritage. It's not just a religious thing anymore. Um, it's something that we have inherited, and we're not yeah. going to let it go. I mean... Yeah, I would, I would also jump in and say, when you say it's not just a religious thing anymore, I would say the, the fact that these activities have a, like a religious purpose and connotation mm -hmm. doesn't mean that they're also not activities done by humans that humans do to enjoy each other and their time. Um, and I think whether or not a person believes in God, they probably believe in the person that they're talking to. And so if it's like, hey, Merry Christmas, or Happy Holidays, or Merry, uh, oh, it's been years, Rama, Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa is, is one thing that yeah. people try and say. Festivus. Um, or Festivus, <laughs> right? They, they're talking to another human, and they, I, I believe that you exist, Susan, and I hope that you have a good holiday season. But I hope that we're, I, I feel like we're probably addressing w your question, but um, we're also doing all the talking. Yeah, whatever. You're doing just fine. I think the only important thing I would tell you to remember, I appreciate the sense of family and that that's what you actually focus on. But in the same vein that you're saying that if you're a person who has a religious background and maybe not to impose it, I think is what you're saying. I think the same goes for you in the sense that if I'm somebody who does, that you don't do the same thing. Because like you said, people have a tendency sometimes to vehemently talk about what they believe in. And almost sometimes if you're on that defense, you can have a tendency to over talk somebody else and you may not realize that you're insulting them while you're trying to well, you're trying to get your viewpoints across instead of maybe having a gentler way of just saying that you have a different opinion. Yeah, sure. It doesn't mean one's right or wrong. It doesn't mean yours is right or mine's right. It just means we both believe in something different. Well, so, so you're entitled to your own opinion, right? But you're not entitled to your own facts. Um, that Neither is, are you. No, no, I agree. No one is entitled to their own facts. Um, but... So, so th there are two parts to that question. The first is the holidays. Um, we're coming into the holidays, and well, you really need to make that calculus like, okay. of whether or not you're going to fight that fight while you're breaking bread with people you love. Um, right. Personally... Because if you fight that fight, you might break more than bread. Yeah, and that's... Exactly. To me, that's, that's, that's not that exactly get worth together it. together real quick. Yeah, yeah. but on, on the, the, the bigger part of it is when you said... It's just your opinion. Um, it's so, so either a God exists or it doesn't, um, regardless of my opinion, your opinion, or anyone else's. And so to say, oh, for you, God exists. For you, this doesn't exist. Yeah, it's right. everybody's opinion. Um, no, no, it, right. it, it, either, it either does or it doesn't, right? And my, where I'm coming at is that it doesn't. Yeah. We can talk about... So one of the things, sorry to, no, to cut ahead. you off here, Eric. One of the things that's interesting is that um, the word opinion uh, for the longest time was used to talk about matters of taste, right? Like, vanilla is the best flavor. It's better than all the flavors. It's better than any combination of flavor. Is an opinion. Perhaps the better word is your belief. Yeah. But I, I, your belief whether God exists or not. That, yeah, that, I think that, that more accurately describes it. But I feel like yeah. there's also a, um, there's a natural aversion to having those kinds of uh, epistemological conflicts with uh, friends and family members. And that can be a very good thing um, because, you know, Christmas comes but once a year. Um, but I would say that it, it's interesting to, to point out that that tends to be the way that families go. I mean, I know that when a person initially converts or deconverts, they've got that, like, new situation, new thing in my life that's important to me. Everyone should hear about it yep. because, you know, right? Like, um, in the same way that vegans won't shut the hell up about veganism. <laughs> uh, 
Um, <laughs> or people who joking. do... Joking. Uh, That's wait, exactly what's my that, point. What's that, what's that workout that... Uh, um, the, the Jane Fonda workout? No, 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 no. CrossFit? It's CrossFit, right? Yeah, people yeah. who are into CrossFit just won't shut up about CrossFit. Yeah, it's awesome. That's cool. Yeah, you have different friends than I do. <laughs> well, boys, I really appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you for answering my question. Susan, thank you so much for calling I hope that people who are listening will be a little bit more understanding of yeah. both atheists and those who do believe and just mm -hmm. come together and enjoy each other. Susan, right. if more people in the world were like you, we wouldn't have a show. Thank you. Thank you for being understanding and mm -hmm. thank you for having that because we can't expect to change everybody's minds. But mm -hmm. if we can treat each other as human beings, then yeah. um, that's a huge step, and that's awesome. Yeah. So thank you, Susan. Thank you for calling Very in. Very good. Merry Christmas, boys. <laughs> Merry Christmas.